I'm Dr. Mary Wild. I'm a breast cancer surgeon here at Scripps Memorial, and I'm the director of the Polster Breast Care Center, which is our major breast care center on campus here. One of the main staples of breast cancer treatment is when patients have lumpectomy followed by radiation therapy. And traditionally, that's been done by removing the cancer in the operating room and then having the patient heal for three to four weeks. And then the patient has daily radiation treatments for about six to seven weeks. And that radiation course includes a final week of very intense radiation focused right where the cancer was. So what the Mobitron IOERT has offered us is the opportunity to keep patients from having to have that final week of very intense radiation. This is a difficult time for these patients. Many of these women have jobs, they have children, they have husbands, they have parents, they have very busy full lives. And if we can give them back even a week of their life by doing this, I think that's an amazing gift to give these women. So what we can do in the operating room is we can take out the cancer and then knowing exactly where the area is that most needs that boost of radiation, under direct vision we can then give the electron radiation right to that area. So it's very, very precise. There isn't guesswork that uh, can be involved in the more traditional type of radiation um, in terms of where do we really want to radiate, give that big boost of radiation. In terms of the cosmetic outcome, the reason that this approach is superior is because when we do the more traditional radiation, we've removed the cancer sewn up the area, repaired the area in the operating room, and then the radiation has to go through the skin and has to go through the tissue that is before the tissue that we actually want to radiate. When we use Mobitron, the intraoperative electron radiation procedure, we actually don't have to radiate through the skin. We're in the operating room, the bed is open, but we can preserve the skin now and keep it free of the radiation zone, and that makes a tremendous difference in terms of the cosmetic outcome. Of course, cosmesis comes second to the oncologic principles. The first and most important principle is we want to get rid of the cancer. But these women are going to live for years and years and years and years. Many of them, their normal lifespan. So of course, how their breast appears is very important. So we want to make it as pristine and as normal appearing to them as we can. There's no other part of breast cancer care that really highlights the collaborative efforts more than the intraoperative electron radiation procedure. It is just amazing. There are about 17 people who are mobilized on the day of surgery to attend to this patient. We're all in this together. The enthusiasm is contagious and it's incredible and everyone is at the top of their game when we're doing these cases. The fact is that we cannot treat these patients with this kind of excellent care without the support of our community and without the support of the administration. And there's often some conflict between physicians and the administrators, but I tell you, with this procedure, everyone sees the advantage to the patients, to the hospital, because we can treat the patients better. And the physicians, of course, we always want to have platinum standard care for our patients. It isn't always possible to make that happen if you don't have a supportive administration and a supportive philanthropic community. So it's really a tribute to not the physicians alone, not the nurses alone who do this, but also to the people in the community who have made this possible and the people at this hospital, at Scripps Memorial, who have made this possible. What I advise patients who come in and are appropriate candidates for breast conservation therapy, which is lumpectomy followed by radiation traditionally, is that that is a very good treatment. We've been doing it for many years and it works very well. But the wonderful addition of intraoperative electron radiation therapy decreases the likelihood that that cancer is going to come back. So I tell them, if you can then also have intraoperative radiation therapy, it is preferable. It is a better treatment. We now have doctors sending their patients to us from other communities because they too recognize that Mobitron is a better treatment for their patients and they don't have that in their community. So these are surgeons who are actually saying, I think you are a patient who would be well served by having a Mobitron procedure 
and you should go to Scripps. You should go to San Diego and have this done. You should leave your own home community and have this done. It's really wonderful to take care of those patients. We try to make it as easy for them as possible. But what we really want is we want to sprinkle Mobitron units all over the country so that no patient has to leave her own home community. And won't it be a great day when everyone has a Mobitron unit and can offer that to their own patients.